Hi guys, Haka Kade here and in today's video we are going to make this Minecraft game in scratch. So it looks like this and when you press the front arrow key you will eventually go front and when you press the back arrow key you will go back and when you press the left arrow key you will go left and you press the right arrow key you will go right and when you come close to these trees and you click on them that disappear and this would not look much like a minecraft game to you but this is the part one and in the part two we will continue this series so let's make this so we don't need this catch sprite so we'll delete it uh, let's paint a sprite and if you have seen minecraft there would be a hand like somewhat like this it would look like this and it would be at the corner of the screen over here so we will also paint this sprite oops And let's fill this with okay it won't fill like this so we will go to this map and now we'll fill it and now we'll change the color to skin look here yep so now you have that minecraft hand so now we'll paint another sprite and look like this and we'll go to code we'll also make a backdrop mm, let's say cyan and now we'll put it green this and now we we'll make this yellow and put it over here so this is supposed to be the sun we'll just delete this backdrop and go here we have this now we will make some trees Yep, like this and here, here, yep and now we'll come on with this to bit map and fill this, green, green, brown. Now we will, oops, <sighs> we take an eraser and not like this. Okay, so we have done this. Now we we'll take this. First, we'll set its size to 50. Put it here. We'll say when flag key, when flag click, go to this position where it is, and then when up arrow key pressed, change size by okay, not here. 
change size by 10 not 10 let's make this 5 and we'll duplicate this and when down arrow press let's put this to minus 5 this left arrow pressed left arrow key press move five steps when uh, duplicate right arrow pressed move minus five steps And we'll also say set size to 50% when it's there. So now it's here. We'll just duplicate these. Put few over here. And all you need to do is change this. Like this. We'll duplicate one more. So now we'll say when or first we'll say flag and this tree is a bit nearer than this one so let's put this size to 60 and this is the most nearest so we'll set this to 70. And now you will see that the size actually varies. Okay, so now we'll say when flag clicked, if size equal to size equal to Size one one sixty one sixty. Okay, no, not this. We'll take this more than one sixty. We don't need this, so here. Then, if touching mouse pointer, then looks change ghost effect by twenty five. See the size is now 170. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the forever in here. So now we'll do this. Size is now 190. And I forgot to put if touching mouse pointer and mouse down mouse down then we'll add ghost effect twenty five let's set this to five let's do this again and yep now you can see the tree does this We'll do the same for other trees as well.
and yep this works uh, okay this size is yep now this works <coughs> and if you have seen minecraft then this hand moves while you are running so we'll say when flag clicked forever turn 5 degrees this side and 5 degrees that's This hand isn't moving though. Uh, I'll set this to 10 degrees. Let's just say point in direction or good costumes. Drag this hand to the center. That should be fine. Let's point in direction. Zero. Nope. One eighty. Minus ninety. Yep. So point in direction like this, and we will put one second here. Let's make this point one. Nope. That's. Let's say go to this position. When flat. Yep. And we'll set point five seconds. We'll duplicate this and here as well. Yep, this works. So now so that was it for today's video this is part one don't forget to watch part two and that's it for today's video bye bye